In this video, I'm going to solve this question. Let Y denote the number of hits obtained when three fair coins are tossed. We have to find the expectation of Z where Z is equal to 4 plus 5 Y square. And these are the options that are given to us. So first of all, given the information, we can say that Y will follow a binomial distribution. And we know that a binomial distribution has two parameters and those two parameters are N and P. In this question, we are given that we have tossed three fair coins. So N is equal to three and P is the probability of success. So that means P is the probability that a head will occur. And because we are given that the coins are fair, so P is equal to 0 0.5. So this is the information that we are given in the question. Now, Z is equal to 4 plus 5 Y square. So expected value of Z will be equal to expected value of 4 plus 5 Y square. And this is equal to 4 plus 5 expected value of Y square. And we can write this because we know that expected value of a constant is a constant itself. And expected value of a x where a is any constant is equal to a multiplied by expected value of x. So I have used these two properties here. So now expected value of z is equal to 4 plus 5 expected value of y square. So to find the expected value of z, we first have to find the expected value of y square. So let's see how can we find the expected value of y square. Well, to find the expected value of y square, we first have to find the possible values that y square can take. And to find the values that y square can take, we first have to find the values that y can take. So because we are tossing the coin three times, so the possible values that y can take in this example are 0, 1, 2, 3. Now, because these are the values that y can take, so now we can find the values that y square can take. So y square can be equal to 0. 1, 4, and 9. And now we can find the corresponding probability. So this is the column for probability. And because we know that y follows a binomial distribution, so we can use the binomial formula to find the corresponding probabilities. I'm not finding the probability values here because I will be showing you another method to solve this question, which will be a shortcut. But I hope if you choose to go with this method, then you can find these probabilities using the binomial formula. Okay, and once you have found these probabilities, you have to multiply the value of y square with the corresponding probability. So you have to do y square multiplied by the corresponding probability. So you can find some values here as well. And once you have got these values, you can just add these values and what you will get here will be your expected value of y square. Now this method is a bit time consuming because you will have to use the binomial formula to calculate the probabilities and then you will have to multiply, add and all that. So there is a shortcut method that you can follow to solve this question and let me show you that as well. So see now we know that y follows binomial distribution and n and p are the parameters and in this case n is 3 and p is equal to 0.5. Well, we do have some direct formulas for the random variables that follow binomial distribution. So one of the formula is this, that expected value of y is equal to n multiplied by p. So we can use this formula to calculate the expected value of y. So this means that expected value of y is equal to 3 multiplied by 0 0.5 and this is equal to 1.5. Now let us also find the variance of y. And we have a formula for that as well. So variance of y is equal to np multiplied by 1 minus p. And we are given that this is equal to 3 multiplied by 0 0.5 and 1 minus p is also equal to 0 0.5. So solving this, we get that this is equal to 0 0.75. Now let me show you why have I calculated expected value of y and variance of y. See, we know that variance of y is equal to expected value of y square minus expected value of y whole square. And this implies that expected value of y square is equal to variance of y plus expected value of y whole square. 
and now we know the values of variance of y and expected value of y. So variance of y is equal to 0 0.75 and expected value of y is equal to 1.5. So we can say that expected value of y square is equal to 0 0.75 plus 1.5 whole square. So this is your expected value of y square. Now we know that expected value of z is equal to 4 plus 5 expected value of y square and this is equal to 4 plus 5 multiplied by 0 0.75 plus 1.5 whole square and solving this you will get that this is equal to 19 so expected value of z is equal to 19 and that means the right answer is part c and this is all for this question.